Hello, this is Xbox Ahoy. And this is Chuck, Ask a Capper, quadriplegic gamer. And yes, my subs call me, only use me face, because that's how I play. And as you guys heard, I'm here with Xbox Ahoy, or Stuart as he's also known. And we have a lot to talk about. Um, What's going on, man? Oh, nothing much, really. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, it's great to have you here. I really appreciate you stopping by. This is big. Yeah, big for me. Having Xbox Ahoy on as a guest, awesome. That's all I got to say. I mean, I just love your voice. It's just so great. <laughs> and as do all your fans. Maybe for the one person who might uh, not know who you are who's listening to this, uh, you do a s- series of guides. Um, yeah. For a call. Ellie, why don't you explain it? Yes, I suppose you could say I do a series of strategy guides for the, uh, the fine game that we're all involved with, Call of Duty. I uh, started with Modern Warfare 2, of course, and uh, I'm doing Black Ops now. The focus is on the weapons. It's, I suppose you could call it a, a series of weapons guides. So I just want to talk about a few things um, that have been one thing that's come up major this week. But also, I want to ask you a few things about Black Ops uh, and how you sort of work through your process. So first question I have is, what are your thoughts on Black Ops after all this time? And what do you think of it? Okay, well, Black Ops, I think a lot of people um, have started to complain about Black Ops. You know, that it's boring or that it's somehow unbalanced, that Ghost is, you know, it alters the game in a way that's less enjoyable. But, you know, I mean, Black Ops is a game, and I will say that the perks are probably more balanced than any other Call of Duty game that I've seen. Weapons, maybe less so. I think the weapon diversity leaves a little bit to be uh, desired. If you compare it to something like Modern Warfare 2, uh, I mean, any of the assault rifles in Modern Warfare 2 were competitive, whereas it tends to be the FAMAS, the, uh, the AUG in Black Ops, and you don't see so much of the other ones. Uh, the Commando's popular as well, and, uh, you know, the AK, but some of the SMGs in Black Ops, stuff like yeah. the Mac 11, they're just, they're just not competitive. So uh, what are your thoughts on the noob tube? Oh, man, I love the new tubes. They're great. Oh, people are going to freak when they hear you say that. Um, why do you like it? Absolutely. There's, uh, it's, it's great in domination as well. I mean, if, especially if you're playing aggressively, because you can assault a point, you know, spam tubes on there and then cap the point for yourself. It's, it's, a, it's a really useful tool. It really is. You seem like somebody who doesn't really complain. Yeah, I mean, I, I never complain of it. Sometimes, sometimes I like to complain a little bit on Twitter. So moving on, Stuart, I wanted to ask you about your process, your writing process, because everybody listening to this who is familiar with you, we love your guides. It's just the way you speak and what you say when you're speaking. How does that, what's that process like? How does that work? Well, I actually, I write the script in uh, probably something in the region of 50 chunks, basically sentences or paragraphs. And then what I do is I'll read them straight through. I'll start at chunk one, I'll read that chunk, and then I'll read chunk two, and then chunk three. But if I fluff or if I mumble or just otherwise mess up a line, what I'll do is I'll repeat it. And then uh, what I'll do is um, in post-production, I'll extract each of the chunks and then save them out. Well, I speak for everybody who watches your videos. We, we love it. You just do such a great job. We really appreciate it. And a lot of people I know want to see you do commentaries also. Yeah, I've actually done a few commentaries. on. I've got a backup channel and I've, I've posted a few there, but they're not really my forte. Oh, trust me, I know. And that's what brings us to the major point that I wanted to talk about in the rest of this this commentary with you is what you recently mentioned on there. Um, you know, and by, if you don't know his backup channel or secret channel, it's Ahoy Xbox, not Xbox Ahoy, but Ahoy Xbox on YouTube. So, yeah, I mean, you, I want to get some more feedback on that. You want to talk about that? You know, I might curse. Well, Stuart, if you need to, I'm okay with that. We need to get these feelings out. We need to talk about this. This is something major. It's going to affect hundreds of thousands of people, and it's really sad to hear. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play some excerpts from your commentary that you put up on your secret channel. And um, just so that people who maybe haven't heard it can hear what you had to say, uh, hear what you expressed, and then so then we can really talk about it. So let me let me roll those clips right now. Here you go. And, uh, well, I've got some fairly major channel news. I have to take a break. Uh, But I can't divulge the details. Really, what it boils down to for you guys watching my videos is that over the next few months, you probably won't see any videos from me. But um, unfortunately, I can't tell you everything at this stage. It's, It's kind of a secret. When I heard that, Stuart, I was floored. I was just broken hearted. I was because, you know, you've come to be something... Many of us, we look forward to seeing your latest video as you talk about the guns. 
Yeah. So we were upset. I know in your video, you played it off like you had a, some sort of special job opportunity and you tried to be a real, tried to be a real pro about it. It was very good to see, but I think there's something we really need to talk about. Um, something that, you know, I think it's important that we should really bring this out and what the real reason you're not going to be making videos is because I think you really kind of lied to the audience, didn't you? Or you lied to your fans and your supporters about why you were stopping with this job offer. Am I onto something here? Well, I, well, mm, well. Come on, Stuart. I've been your friend a long time. I know something else is going on. Yeah, but I mean... Come on, Stu. I know something's going on. You're it's, exactly it's, right. Yeah. So now that we know something's up, why don't you really tell the audience what's happening? What's going on with you? What is it? Spiral of drugs and alcohol again. I understand, Stuart. We all do. We all know the pressure of YouTube fame. Being YouTube famous, what it brings. Kind of reminds me of that uh, guy... The, with the voice. Ted Williams, wasn't it? Yeah, that guy. I mean, he had the pressures of fame, and now we see you dealing with that. And our heart goes out to you, Stuart. All of your fans, we're here to support you. We care about you. We love you. When did you start having a problem with drugs and alcohol? In Britain, we start drinking uh, pretty much in the cradle. But I mean with this current relapse, not like growing up and things like that. I started um, probably just before Modern Warfare 2 was released. I was completely taken by surprise. It was quite a, quite a sad tale. How many drinks have you had even today before you got on this commentary with me? I think I made it up to uh, a score of about 16 shots. And I was actually fine. Well, I guess you do sound okay, but I mean, that's a lot. And it's only noon. Stuart, I'm concerned. <laughs> and then the other night when you were off Skype for, right, like an hour and a half, and then you came back. I could tell something was going on. What was what was up with that? So we had 90 minutes to do 20 shots, which, you know, it's it sounds feasible, but and of course, yeah, you know, we we did this, you know, anybody can do a shot, you know, it's simple enough. Knock them back and then there you go. Jobs are good and we've done the gauntlet. That's what we call it, you see, the gauntlet. Wow, Stuart, that's that is pretty nasty. <laughs> Stuart, this isn't funny. I'm really concerned. That isn't a good amount of alcohol to be consistently drinking like you are. What's your blood alcohol content now? I want to say it's higher than 1.4. It was 1.4, but I think it's slightly higher now. Stuart, that's... You could be risking blood alcohol poisoning with levels that high. You actually should have it right now. Oh, if I could facepalm, I would. This is horrible. This is going to break people's hearts. I can't even believe this, that I'm hearing this. Now, I know we've been friends a long time. You've also battled with heroin. I know when you say that, it's a powerful word. It's, well, it's got four letters. It's not that much of a, it's not that much of a word. Stuart, heroin is a seven-letter word. What are you talking about? Are you on heroin right now? Yeah. <laughs> I could, you know, maybe score. This isn't funny at all. How many kilos are you going through in a month? I've been doing one a week. One a week? St oh, my God, Stuart. Oh, I don't have anything I can even say to that. How much are you spending a week? I uh, actually broke 60000 today. 60000 Steward, you're going to go broke. I don't care. I'm married to Bill Gates. <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted an aircraft carrier. Now you're just not making any sense at all. I mean, how are you affording this? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um... Stuart, you're not turning to sex for drugs again, are you? And I, I know this probably sounds pretty gay, but it's not. But to be honest, you've just got to you've just got to do it. You've just got to put your whole heart into it to begin with. And, and Stuart, sex for drugs is not good. This is not good. I've had a few dodgy kebabs in my time. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> what? End of the day, it's just a piece of meat. Okay, 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 Stuart. I please stop. I've heard enough. <laughs> this isn't funny. So this break you're taking from doing your weapons guides and commentaries on your backup channel, it's because you're going to be in rehab, correct? Yeah. I just want to say I appreciate you talking about what you're going through. Um, your fans, we love you and we support you. And, you know, we're glad you're getting help. That's important. If anybody else is going through what Stewart's facing, obviously, if YouTube fame has cracked you and pushed you in this direction, please seek help. And, Stuart, we're, we're proud of you for being so brave to come here and talk about it. So, I mean, that, that hats off to you for that. That's just amazing. So. Thank you, Stuart, even though some of what you said was, was pretty shocking. Okay, I feel okay. Oh, no, wait, I don't feel okay. And then all of a sudden, vomit. Yes, I would imagine that's exactly what you're going to sound like after this dual commentary. Peace. Um, Stuart, one last thing I want to ask you. Who is your favorite person for weapons guides now that you're going to be gone? Who should people look to? Who's your favorite? Oh, <clears throat> favorite. I mean, it depends how you define favorite. I mean... Do you think uh, Raging Amish would be a good one for people to check out? Absolutely, yes.
Yeah, that is a good call. He's he's a good one for gun guides. So, Stuart, uh, how long till we can expect you back? How long will you be gone? Oh, I don't actually know. Um, we shall see. Well, like I said before, we will be here waiting for you, and we will welcome you back with open arms. We care about you. Would you like to say anything to the audience? Till next time, farewell. There you go, short and sweet. Well, thanks, everybody, for listening. This has been Chuck Ask a Capper. Please remember to support the custom button remapping petition. I appreciate you taking time to listen to this and this interesting and dynamic interview with Xbox Ahoy. Shocking news we heard today. Oh, Stuart, one last thing. Do you support custom button remapping? No. What do you think of this commentary? Bullshit. Thanks, man. Thanks a lot.